So Ian, it's a 3 0 loss to Bradford Park Avenue. What were your thoughts after that result? That's why we love and hate football in equal measure. First 15, very even, 15 to 45, a better team, played some great football in difficult uh, weather conditions. Second half, we started from four, 45 to 75, absolute dominance of the ball, of the pitch, of the opposition. They made three subs because of that dominance. But we didn't turn that dominance into goals. We didn't call our conversion rate wasn't good enough. We didn't build pressure by crosses, by shots, by throwings, by corners. We came a little bit intricate in his play. So the football was was a pleasure to watch. But we then knew about set pieces. We've not dealt with the first one. We've not anticipated the second one. We've not put his bodies on the line from eight yards out and have scored. And then unfortunately we've got the score line affect us. Because I think the lads can't believe they're one 0 down, but that's football, that's that's the level we're at, that's at any level teams dominate a game and, and, and come out on the wrong side. And then the second one, we've uh, we've let them break too easily. Ben's made a good save, and then turns back on the quick one. It's a three header six yards out and, and, and Ben's gonna do better but move stronger probably on the save, even though he's made three or four exceptional saves. And then we've gone after the game and their left back's just gone forward and we've not tracked him and it's obviously allowed them to get to get the goal at the the back post, uh, but it's irrelevant really the third one. Um, you take the first 15 was equal and you take the last 15 plus 5 minutes added of 20 minutes, we've absolutely dominated that game but there's only one stat that matters and that's goals for and goals against and we've come out on the long side but the lads know it's easy easy to learn, we turn that dominance into goals and we don't let scoreline affect us and we, we just make sure we're really ruthless on, on set pieces so look, the lads have been excellent, they were excellent tonight for large parts of the game, but they're just not being ruthless enough in both penalty boxes. So two of their goals came from set pieces today. It's very uncharacteristic of us this year to concede from them. Why do you think it happened today? Uh, that's why it's a great ball in for the first goal. Uh, we've not managed to deal with it. It's come back inside, but we're not anticipated or thrown his body on the line. I'm not sure why. Um, it's not from a lack of, of wanting to. Maybe we're just in the wrong position. The second one's poor. We've turned his back on it. It's a great save by Ben, they took it quick, we just turned his back on it and then we just not picked up. We haven't marked men and that's the, the weakest probably goal we've conceded from a set piece for, for a long time. So hopefully it's the first and last. As well as that, there seem to be a few more miscommunications defence which we wouldn't have expected from this unit. Especially what led to the corner that led to the first goal. Is that something that you're going to have to keep an eye on over the next few games to make sure it doesn't become a persistent problem? No, look, I thought, I thought again, Iggy and, and Elliot were excellent as a back. So I thought Tom Charles was exceptional tonight. I thought Tinks was excellent tonight. Ben's made some really good saves, but he, maybe can he shout early? Elliot's got to deal with it. He's three or four yards from his own goal. He's got to think what's right. It's led to the corner. We just then have to defend the corner. The second one, we've let him break too quick because I think we've let the score line affect us. Um, it's a great save, but we had to pick up quicker. So, yeah, it's disappointing, but it's not. Not, not from a personnel, it's just a, a, a lack of focus, lack of concentration. We've come back so many times this year from really difficult situations. Yeah, this time we conceded and the heads dropped, which we haven't seen again this year. Why do you think it's dropped today and then not other games like at Wivenshaw? And... I think because they were so good for long parts of that game, they, they stunned them a little bit and they, they let the scoreline affect them. And we just tried things that weren't us and uh, we got punished for it. Look, we're a young group, new group, we're learning all the time. Um, really good learning opportunity for tonight. It's in a ninth league game, we've got 33 to go, so there's no panic. Um, we just we just keep keep trying to improve and, and try and learn and get better. We'll try and get some optimism going now as we get towards the end. Uh, James Morris signed earlier this week. Uh, we saw him make his debut today, he didn't get many touches on the ball. What can we expect from Morris in the next few weeks and months? Yeah, James is a... Uh, I'd say same player to Jack Aslam in that he's, he can play anywhere across the front three. He's, he's a good all-round game, the links will play, he's, he, he's got good movement, um, not bad turn of pace, he's got good good touch, so he's that type of Jack who's versatile player anywhere across the front three. Um, it's obviously difficult for him to come on tonight when we're chasing the game, but it's great to have him part of the group, he's, he's a good lad as well, he's a down to earth lad, a good work ethic, so he's the type of player we, we want. So we're up at Ashington on Saturday. They've got a new manager. It'll be his first time. Neil Gray in charge of the club as he faces us. Are you wary of the new manager effects as you go into that game and that there might be a bit more of an unknown quantity than previously expected? Oh, I said to the players, I like it that we've got that game because we've got to go up there together. We've got to be, be together. We've got a new manager of a team. We want to impress him. So we've got to be at our best. We'll learn from today. 
and then hopefully we can do that and have an enjoyable journey back. So every game's tough in this league from 1 to 20. It's so early days. Um, we've just got to focus on the next one, the next one's Ashton, so we've got to do his best there. Thank you very much, Ian. Cheers, um, thank you.